Hello everybody and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 22 how-to video. Today we're going to put to bed what is the auto selling cost to sell products automatically from your production. At least with respect to wheat. I didn't go through and test all of them. I'm testing wheat and that's what we're going to go with. Quite possibly it could cost a different percent based on different products. It might cost a different percent based on how far production is from the particular highest sell point at the time. It's hard to say how this calculation is really done, but this is what we're gonna get. We're down here at Johnson's Farmer's Market, and it happens to be the best price to sell wheat, or should I say wheat flour, at the moment. I have a pallet of wheat flour over here. It is a thousand liters. And we have a thousand liters in the flour mill set to selling. So you can see that is a thousand liters. Let's take a look at our production. You'll see that we have a thousand liters of flour set to selling, and it is going to sell at the top of the hour. We have the production turned off, so there will be no more production going on. And we do own. The bakery because we're also going to do a little bit of testing with respect to distribution now if we take a look at our finances screen you're going to see that i've gone in and i've zeroed out today's column i've done that to make it easy to see what has changed so we are on easy economy we're going to boot this save up into normal and hard economy also and run the exact same test so if we look at our prices for flour. Where is it? So we're going to sit at $1,719 at the Johnson's Farmer's Market for flour. Let's fast forward until 6 p.m. Okay, it's 6 p.m. We are sitting at $1,720 at the top of the hour. We take a look at our finances screen. We have a production cost of $2. And we have a profit of sold products at $1,114. So that is what we got for auto selling. Now... I'm sure we all know what we're going to get when we put this thousand liter pallet over here, but we're going to do it anyway. Look, $1,720 just as expected. So what does that tell us? On easy mode, we sold our product for 1,114 liters or $14. That is a difference of $606 less than manually selling at the best price, or 35.23% less. So we took a 35.23% hit on using auto selling for our flour. Now, let's check out normal mode and see what it looks like. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and put this on normal. See, our economy is still zeroed out. And we now take a look and see that our best price is $1,031 for flour. Let's do the same thing. Fast forward until 8 o'clock or 6 o'clock. Boom, 6 o'clock. Let's check our best price, $1,032 for manually selling our best price flower price our finances screen we earned six hundred and sixty eight dollars and we had two dollars in production cost so manually selling is going to net us one thousand and thirty two dollars as we all expect and we saw so we got $668, there's $1,032, $668 to auto sell. That is, guess what everybody, 
35.23% less. So between easy and normal mode, there is the same 35.23% overhead in transport fees. I think you know where we're going here with hard mode, but we're going to do it anyway. Deja vu, who are you? Let's go ahead and change this once again to hard mode. We'll check our finances, zeroed out again. Our best price is $573 from Johnson's Farmer's Market. Again, production, we have a thousand liters. It is set to selling. It is set to turn off. Let's go ahead and make it happen. There you go, nothing in the production. Our finances screen, $371 in sold products. Again, $2 in production costs. So what does that mean? Well, our best price is $573 per thousand liters. We sold automatically for $371. That is a difference of $202, or guess what? That's right, 35.23%. So it is 35-ish percent for every difficulty mode to auto sell, at least the caveat here is to auto sell 1,000 liters of wheat. Could it possibly be a greater percent depending on a different production? Possibly. Could it somehow cost more if you transport a heavier product? Possibly. Could it cost more if you transfer your if the best price to transport your goods is further away from the sell point? Possibly. I'm not going to test all those iterations. I'm completely satisfied at 35.23% as far as the economic hit to do auto selling versus manual selling of your products. Now one final question to ask. What about distribution? Well, let's find out. So we're down here at the bakery, just so we can see how much product we quickly get transferred over here. Let's go to our production and change this to distributing. Again, our flour production is inactive. Our bread production is inactive, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's go here to our difficulty. And just for fun, we're gonna change it to normal. I'm not gonna test easy, normal, and hard. The auto selling percent stayed the same. We're gonna see, I suspect the distribution concept is gonna be the same also. Let's go to our finances screen. Once again, you can see this is all zeros. So we will see exactly what happens when we move to the top of the hour. So let's go ahead and do that now. There we go. I did see our money change a wee little bit. So flour, we have a thousand liters now transported down here. Let's check our production. Thousand liters of flour in our bakery and we have no flour in our grain mill. Let's check and see what our finances are telling us. We had $2 of production costs and oddly enough, $10 of property maintenance profit. That's a positive number. That's a negative number. The end result is oddly not supposed to be seven. There must be some very interesting rounding going on here, Giants. But at any rate, we made a little bit of money having our product auto-transported down here to the bakery. The numbers can't lie. I don't understand it either. There is no penalty for auto distributing your product. But there appears to be a pretty significant penalty of 35.23% to auto sell your product. Will I likely continue to auto sell my product? Probably. 
Do I understand that I am losing 35.23% of possible profits? Yes. Am I fine with this? Yes. It's that simple. It might be different for you, might be different for someone else, but 35.23% seems to be exactly what you're gonna lose when you have auto selling set for production. Hope this was helpful for you guys in understanding how you may or may not be financially impacted by auto selling or mainly transporting your goods. Again, we used the flour mill for our example here. I could have used all the production, but I just felt that it really probably wasn't worth the effort to iterate through, gosh, what is it? Something like 14 different possible production elements to see what the auto selling cost may or may not be. If you've got different results, I'd be interested to know what results you got for selling a thousand liters of product manually or automatically. And until next time, happy farming.